Hey everyone, Salaf is here. I wanted to make a video tutorial on how to use Posty Burb. Now, if you've never heard of Posty Burb before, it's an independent software that allows artists to upload their artwork to multiple gallery sites at once. It also allows you to queue posts as well if you want to post multiple times throughout the day. And you can upload single posts or posts in bulk. So it's a pretty powerful tool, especially if you want to have a presence in multiple places on the internet, but obviously you don't have the time to upload individual pieces on individual sites all over. Now, normally I don't like to make video tutorials. However, I personally found Postyber pretty confusing the first time I used it. And I feel that going through a video format will be the easiest way to explain what's going on here. So you're looking at Postuber right now. Um, I have it on my Mac machine. It may look different on Windows. And you'll notice this is the dashboard. I never use the dashboard, but from the get-go you have the option to make a post or to make a journal. This tutorial is just going to focus on making post uploads. So what you'll want to do first is you'll want to click on Login. And you'll have a list of possible websites from which you can post to. And you'll notice that Patreon is on here, Twitter is on here, so there's a lot of major platforms on here. I personally wish that they would have Instagram and Facebook. If they had that, then I could probably quit using Hootsuite. But if you want to post to Facebook and potentially Instagram automatically or via a queue, then I recommend Hootsuite. I also have a Hootsuite tutorial that is a text tutorial, and that's available on my Patreon. I'll have a link in the description. But anyway, You'll look at the list of websites here, some of which I've never even heard of before, like I have no idea what this terrific is. If, uh, if you are represented on those sites or you want to be represented on those sites, you can just click, you know, make an account and then you would click login for one of them. So for example, Weasel, uh, for their login, it's actually just an iframe linking to their official website. So you would just enter the username and password and hit sign in and follow the instructions from there. Uh, depending on which site you choose and depending on their API and authentication and all that good stuff, you may need to authenticate or visit a separate web page to authenticate, but uh, it's, it'll, it should be pretty obvious to you what to do when you're on there. Some of the websites, it's not as obvious that it worked. So for example, this free network website, after I followed the instructions to log in, uh, nothing happened. There was just this button that said log out. So that was sort of my confirmation that it worked. If you are successfully logged in and everything's good to go, you'll see your username for the, these respective sites in green on the list here. Okay, so after you've logged in, click on the menu here. You'll see there's also an option to log in here in case you forgot anything. And the two main apps here are Postyburb and Journalburb. But I'm just going to focus on making a post now. So when you click on Postyburb, you'll see this new menu come up here. If you want more space, you just click on the hamburger icon there and you can open and close the menu. So we'll keep that closed for now. Now you can see you have the option to upload a single image or upload a bulk image. For this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on a single image and getting that to multiple different websites. So I already have it set on single. And now I'll click on add files. I'll pick the file I want, hit open and a thumbnail of that will appear here. Now, what's important to note is that this, you haven't yet uploaded it to any website. And if you choose the bulk upload option, you'll see lots of thumbnails here for all the images you're about to upload. However, these are still stored on your local machine or wherever you keep your file uploads. So that's important to note that if you plan on posting a lot of images in a queue throughout the day, you need to keep your computer on and awake in order for those posts to successfully get through. But anyway, we'll get back to focusing on just my single post. Now, when I mouse over it, it's kind of a clunky interface, but when you mouse over any of the thumbnails you have here, in this case I only have one, but you'll see the file name for it, so that's good if uh, you drew a particular character, but you forget the character's name, but you happen to have it in the file. And you also have the option to add a title and a rating. I'll ignore that just for now. You'll also see that there's an icon here that so it says is incomplete. So what you would want to do to make that complete is first you check in the middle and you'll see some options appear here. Now, because I'm just uploading a single post, many of the same uh, features that were available on mousing over, so title and rating, these are available here. 
So this particular menu only appears when uploading a single post. So for the title, the rating for my, myself, it's a general. Time to post, I'm going to ignore this for now because I don't mind posting it right away. But if you did want to post it on a particular date and time, you could set that here. But again, as I mentioned, you need to keep your computer on and awake in order for it to post successfully at a specific time. If you click on show more, you'll have the option for the websites that you want to load it to. So if I'll click on that, and the websites that you've successfully logged into will appear on this list. So in this particular case, I do indeed want to post it to everywhere. Once you've selected your sites, you'll see more options appear. So the first one is the description. So if you have, if you want to enter a custom description every single time you upload something, you can just do that here. However, if you want to instead create a template and upload that every single time you upload something. So for example, I created a template with a signature that has my website on it. You can save a template. Now, let's say this is your awesome template and you wanted to save this. There's a button down here that says save template. You click that and I'll just put demo template for now and I'll hit save. So that way, if I wanted to upload a new image and have the same description available without having to type it again, I can just go up here to load template and find my demo template. Some other options you have here, for example, are tags. So again, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll hit animal, animals. When entering tags, all you do is add the name or the character or the animal that you want to enter, and you hit comma and it creates a tag for it. So the default tags, what it means by default is these are the tags that are going to appear on every single one of the sites that you selected above there. However, if you want custom tags for each website, you would click on tags here. You would choose the website, and then you would add your extra tags here same method. Now, when you do not have overwrite default selected, that means for DeviantArt, my submission to DeviantArt is going to get these tags plus this one. But if I want to ignore these tags for DeviantArt, I click on override default. And that means it will only choose the tags that I've entered here for DeviantArt in that case. But for now, I don't want either of that. If you want a custom description for each site, you would click on description and either use the default, again the default meaning what you have here, or if you want something unique just for DeviantArt, you can enter that here. Now let's say once again that I want to, I made some changes, including the tags, if I can spell, and I want to save this to the template I have going, you would hit save template again, and unfortunately they don't let you choose the existing templates to overwrite. You just have to type the exact same name again. And that, that's how you save any new changes you've made to your template. Some websites have additional, um, or they have a format where more than one image can be uploaded. So for example, Mastodon or Tumblr in this case, uh, for now, I'll ignore that, but again, if you want multiple images in a single post, you can add your additional images there. Now, I happen to have a template that I like saved, so I'm going to grab all. And again, this is where I have, in my case, I have a custom signature that I created where I have all my different websites and stuff. One note here, this formatting seems to work pretty well on all the sites that I upload to so far. So even though for Affinity, for example, uses BB code. Uh, I think DeviantArt uses HTML tags. Um, even though they all use different methods of formatting, this seems to translate through. I think on some websites, for example, I have both bold and italic here, and it only grabs the italic, but that's a pretty minor thing. All my emojis come through and pretty much everything else. I've uploaded my custom templates. Uh, these are the um, the description that I want. These are the tags that I always add for everything. And I'm pretty happy with this. So once you make a final check that you have everything that you want, you have your title, you have your rating, you have the websites that you would like to post it to, you have the description that you want, um, you'll hit save. 
Now, when you hit save for a single post, immediately send it to the submissions queue, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'll hit save. And what you're doing when you hit save is pretty much everything that you have set up in here, including the custom options per each website, those will get saved to just this one image and it'll be set up in your queue. So I'm going to hit save. And when you hit save, it confirms which websites you do want to post this image to. And that's all good for me, so I'm going to hit yes. And then you'll see this notification that says view submissions. So I'm going to hit no for now just to show you where you would find that if you missed that pop up. There's another menu at the bottom here for manage templates, settings, and view submissions. And you'll notice under view submissions, we now have a number one next to it because I have one submission available. So its current status is unposted. And if I want to post it, I can post it from here. If I have more than one image in here, I can hit post all. Um, if I have any edits that I forgot, I can hit the edit button. If I want to schedule it for a specific time, I can do so here. Um, but if I want to double check what I will be posting, I could click on the magnifying glass to see a summary of it. Now, you'll notice right away that all the formatting that you did will show up here in raw HTML or in the raw um, BB code, as is the case for, for Affinity. Um, I initially was worried about that because obviously I don't want those ta uh, the HTML tags or the BB code tags to appear in the description on the website. However, they, they do not appear once they're finally uploaded. When you go on the actual website and see the description that gets uploaded, it's properly formatted, so you don't need to worry about that. What this summary is good for is just to double check that ugly tags aside, the description that you wrote is indeed what you want to display there and all the tags that you have um, are what you want for those individual websites. So this is looking good to me. I'm going to hit close. If I had multiple images in here and I wanted them to post, let's say 15 minutes apart, I would go under settings and you'll see post interval here. So for myself, I have it set to 10 minutes apart. That means if I have four images, one will post every 10 minutes until they're all gone. You have some other features, here, but the main thing that you'll be interested in is this post interval. So I'll hit close on that. So all right, I've got my image. I'm happy with where it's going to be posted. I'm happy with the description and I'm ready to post it right now. So I'm just going to hit post all. I also have the option to hit post right here if I just want to post a single image, if I were to have a long queue of them. But again, we just have this one image, so this button or this button will both work. So I'm just going to hit that. It asks for a confirmation. I'm going to hit yes. And you can see it's starting to work. So it's running through all the different websites. So it's working on DeviantArt right now. And it may or may not show an icon for every site that it goes through. There it's going to for affinity. Yep. So you, if you want, you could sit and watch it go through everything. But um, when I bulk upload it, so for example, I haven't used DeviantArt in months now, and I wanted to upload all the art that I've been working on in that time. So I queued up just hundreds of posts and set it just to DeviantArt and a handful of others, I think like Mastodon and uh, Free Network I haven't uploaded to. And I just let it run. And like I mentioned, you need to keep your computer awake during that whole time because it's uploading directly from wherever you have your images stored. But all the same, you know, if you keep your computer awake, you could just let it run overnight and have everything post for you instead of having to do that all manually. So as you saw, when that was done, a couple notifications appeared and that was just a verification that everything worked. You could see that my submission appeared here. And if I click on it, my, the description that I entered is there as well. And I also have all my tags and everything. For Affinity, here we are. So here's the slowly loading image that I uploaded. Here's the description. And here's all the tags that I added too. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. You know, it's a very powerful software. Uh, it has a lot of different features, but I think in accommodating all those features, it made the interface just a little, little confusing, a little tricky to make sure that you're doing everything right and that your art is going to appear and be tagged and categorized as you want it to be on all the different websites that you'll be posting it to. So yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I would really appreciate if you send me a coffee through my coffee donation account or my tip jar account. All right, good luck.